I've never lived off of a budget with like, I've, I've got $100 for groceries. I'm going to do $300 for groceries. Never. I live off percentages. And the reason I live off percentages is because I read J.C. Penney's story when I was 19 years old. J.C. Penney was a hot dog vendor. And he, and he asked God if he could give 90% and live off the 10%. And we know the rest of the story became a very successful, wealthy man that left much for the kingdom of God. Well, I'd read in the Bible that God's no respect of persons. So I, and he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore, Hebrews 13. So I said, well, God, if you did it for J.C. Penney, could you please use me to impact this world for you? Now, there was a lot that went with that because someone gave me a turkey in that trailer. And I took half of that turkey and I got on the BART and I went down to 2nd and D in Washington, D.C., 1985, murder capital of the world at the time. There was an advocate by the name of Mitch Schneider, and I decided to feed people in a worse condition than me. I prayed this little prayer and said, God, can I spend the rest of my life doing this? Mm. Now, there's the purpose attachment. Mm. Little did I know, think about this. I'll get back to the practical, how we got there, that God would one day allow me to be positioned as advisor to a president in the faith initiative and opportunity during a global pandemic where he's on a phone talking to agriculture saying, what are we going to do? We're having to throw this milk out. What are we going to do? Because the supply chain shut down. I wave my hand. I go, sir, I know, I know. And he's looking like, what do you know about ag? <laughs> you know? I said, I, I know. And he goes, Paul, what, what is it? And I said, you've got 384,000 houses of worship. The church can get this out. Mm -hmm. We know. So Ivanka comes in some other people and I'm put on a mission that we would put immediately through Farmers to Family $10 billion worth of food to the most wow. impoverished people who would not be able to get it, who were hurting the most, largely through churches' houses of worship.